So you want to know how to make the mini planets that I've showed off in a couple of Space Busters episodes for yourself. Well, here's a tutorial on how you can make your very own miniature planets. Let's go! Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is install SE Toolbox. That's the tool that we're going to be using. So go to Google and type in SE Toolbox. Press enter. Click on the first thing that comes up. It should be a GitHub link. Once the page loads, scroll down a little bit to where you see this little installation runtime requirements option here. Then scroll down again, click installation, and scroll down, click releases. Now I'm going to have a link to this page right here in the description, but sometimes those pages become unavailable after a certain amount of time. So that's how you get to it if you need to. So this is the page where we're going to download. Let's click on the English MSI file because that's easier than doing the zip. So we're just going to click the MSI. Once that installs, simply click on that and that's just going to run automatically. Windows protected it. Click on more info, run anyway. Don't worry, guys, it's not, it's not terrible. It's not a bad software. This is made by Midspace, guys. You guys know Midspace. Okay, click next. Uh, accept, okay. Uh, you know what? I'll put it in C, that's fine. Okay, when everything's done, click on the finish button right there and it should launch the application automatically. This base version of Space Engineers has changed, it needs to update. Okay, that's fine. So you might get a couple of prompts during that whole thing and if you do just click yes on them, it's just your computer saying, hey, is this okay? Don't worry, it's not gonna break your computer or anything. Uh, but once it's done, SE Toolbox should run and there it is, the magical SE Toolbox. Now that we've installed SE Toolbox, it's time to set it up. Now you might be in luck. If you didn't get a prompt or anything, that means SE Toolbox automatically found your Space Engineer save file. You can confirm this by clicking on this open button and you'll see a bunch of save files here. Uh, that means SC, SC Toolbox automatically found it. However, if you do not see this, a prompt is going to pop up and it's going to ask you to try and locate your SE or your Space Engineer's uh, save files where that location is. So. So if you're unlucky and you get that message and you have to find the uh, save files for your space engineers, then just do some hunting, try and find them, and good luck. <laughs> then just point SC Toolbox where that is. All right, now that we got SC Toolbox all the way set up, we're going to want to go back into Space Engineers and create ourselves a little world. Or if you already have a world, that's fine too, but we're going to create the world uh, just to show you guys. So we're making a, an empty world. You don't, it doesn't have to be empty. It doesn't actually matter what it is. Just create your own little world. Once your world loads in, make sure you're in admin mode by going Alt F10 and clicking on Enable Creative Mode Tools. Then click Shift F10. That's going to bring up the spawn menu. Click this top bar right here. Go to Planets and put a random planet. We're going to put a Mars in there. It doesn't matter how big it is. We can put it, let's put it 101. That's fine. Uh, click on Spawn and it's going to give you the option to spawn the planet. Now, right now, this is a normal sized Mars. Well, I mean, we set the size. So this is a normal sized Mars. This is what we're going to be making smaller. If you want to, you can add multiple planets. So we'll add an alien planet as well. We'll spawn it once again. doesn't matter what size it is or where it is. We'll spawn it there and we'll spawn, let's spawn it a Europa as well. So we'll spawn the Europa off to our right. doesn't matter how many there are. Once you're done with putting planets down, click uh, save and we're going to save it as whatever it is. Then exit. You don't actually have to exit the game. You just have to exit the save. Now hop back into SE Toolbox, go over to Open, and find the world that you just created. So ours is called Tutorial SE Toolbox. We're going to click it and then click Open. It will open the world in SE Toolbox. Now it's not going to be like a, like a nice purdy thing. This is just like a bare bones tool. Uh, so we can see our three planets and our character. And if you had buildings and stuff, you'd be able, or, or, or grids, you'd be able to see all those here as well. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to make our planets smaller or larger. You can make them larger with this tool as well. So let's start that. So we're going to click on the Mars planet, which is the first one we made. And we're going to click this button right here called Regenerate. Once you click regenerate, you can set the seed and you can set the size. The, the lowest size you can do, if you go all the way down, is 500. That's 500 meters. And the, the largest size you can do is whatever that is. 4,800,000 4, meters, is that what that is? Yeah, so we're gonna be making a miniature planet. So let's bring it all the way down to 500 and click OK. We're gonna do the same for our Europa. So click regenerate uh, all the way, oops, not that one. This one, all the way down to 500. Awesome, and we're gonna do the same for our alien planet as well. Regenerate all the way down to 500. Okay, once you're done, click on the save button right up here, and we're good to go. Hop back into Space Engineers, load game, and load up the save that we just edited. If you've done everything correctly, your planets should now be miniature. Now, of course, we can't see them right now because they're so small, and they used to be so large, so we don't, that might be one, I don't know. But we're gonna use uh, Alt F10 again, and we're gonna go to entity list so we can actually find where they are. Click on planets and we'll see our planets right here. Let's uh, there we go. Where are we? There we go. Okay, so here's our miniature Mars. And if we've done this correctly, as we get closer to it, we should clearly see that it's uh, miniature instead of large. Um, 
This is looking way miniature. I think I think we did it correctly. Okay, there's our miniature Mars, and we should see you can actually see the curvature of Mars as you're on it. And our miniature Europa and alien planet are also out here if we go to our uh, planet entity list once again. So we can actually see where those are. Once again, to get to the entity list, Alt F10, and then drop down to entity list. Uh, and then once you're once you're in this, you'll be in the spectator camera. Press Control Space to teleport yourself to where your spectator camera is, and that's how you get yourself to the place. So now we have a miniature Mars right here, we have a miniature alien planet, we have a miniature Europa somewhere off in the galaxy, but how do we make it so that they're close enough together for us to actually see them? Well, in order to move planets, what you want to do is you want to find the position you want to move it to with your character. So let's say we want the alien planet here, we're going to press K, go to GPS, new from current position, and call this alien. Next, maybe we want the Europa to be, let's say, right over, let's get a little far, let's say right over here. So go here, K. GPS, current from position, and we'll call this one E, because it doesn't really matter what you name them as long as you name. All we're really paying attention to is what these coordinates are. Okay, so once you've done that, write down these coordinates. Uh, write down the ones for the alien and write down the ones for this right here. And then what's next? You guessed it, we're going right back into SE Toolbox. So in order to move the planets, let's say we want our alien planet at our alien place. So we already remember, we already memorized our uh, coordinates, so let's write them down here. Once you've got all the numbers entered, the X, Y, and Z for both of your planets, click Save again and head back into Space Engineers. Load up your game once again, and once it's loaded, you should see your planets now next to each other. So let's find where we are, actually. I don't know where we are. Hang on. Well, we're, once again, we're using the Entity List here to try and find our planets. And there we have it! Where the heck is our Mars, though? <laughs> Aha, it looks like our Mars was a little bit behind that. Okay, so we actually placed them a little bit too close to each other, and you'll see they're now kind of uh, inside each other right there. But there you have it. That's how you make miniature planets and move them around at your will. So this this could be useful for a lot of different things. A lot of people have suggested some sort of like faction war, planet wars, colony wars, anything like that, uh, where each character has their own planet. But be warned, when you mess with the size of planets, everything changes. Look at this. It's not it's not a very smooth terrain, is it? <laughs> so uh, so be warned. But anyways, that's all I've got for you guys. So mess around with this at will. And if you have any questions, post those down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. If you guys like that video, please hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions. That just looks ridiculous. Put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section. And I will see you guys in the next episode of something. We just went from day to night in... What the heck? We just went from day to night in a few steps. That's crazy. All right, see you guys in the next episode.